Hello, Mr. Wei, Mr. Wei, and I, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so what happened yesterday? What did we talk about yesterday? Remember? Talk about multiple coin flips. Yeah. yeah. Coin flips. So, like, we have two coins, yeah? The first coin has uh, 50% facing up, and then the second po uh, second coin has the, like 20% facing up. So, if we want to have two coins facing up, what's the probability? What's the probability? The, the first coin has 50% 50, 50. 50 facing up, the second coin has 20% facing up. How? What's the probability of two coins both facing up? Um... Are we right? The first coin has 20%. The first coin has 50% facing up. The first, second coin has 20% facing up. 10%. 10%, yeah. You, uh, yeah? Okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> we use the dynamic programming. Look at this, is, right? DFSI, K, okay, yeah? We can let it represent that uh, we, are, we are now flipping the I's coin, and then we have K coins remaining. K heads remaining, okay? The balance, okay? Right? Obviously, when I, when we're running out of coins, we just need to check if the balance if it's zero. If its balance is zero, then that's probability one. Otherwise, probability is zero. Okay? The facing up, we can let the current coin facing up. Then we have k minus coins. Yeah, left. If we let the current coin facing down, we have still got the k balance k. Right? This hasn't changed. And then, but in both cases, we have to move to the next coin, right? Moving to the, moving to the next coin, when the coin, current coin has the probability facing up, it's PI, right? This is given. And the probability of it facing down is 1 minus PI, right? Yeah, because both events added up to 1. Okay, so this is DFS. We use the... Top down dynamic programming yeah, with the cache, yeah, with the cache. If we don't put the cache, what's the time complexity? Uh, if we uh, don't put a cache, remember. Uh, uh, Sorry? Uh, if I put a cache, it's O i times O n times k. Now, if I don't put a cache, what's the time complexity? What's the time complexity if I don't remember the values? Remember? O to n right now. What? What? How? Two to the power of n. Why? Why is that? Because for each coin, we have two choice. Yeah. Each coin we have two choice. So it's basically the same as picking the. You know, finding the subsequent. Yeah, finding the subsequent of what? Yeah. In in the number of subsequent, right? Remember that what's subsequent? A B C. How many subsequent are there? Okay, if if empty is also a subsequent. What how many subsequent for ABC? Seven. Seven, yeah. Including the subsequent empty will be eight. So look, A, B, A, C, right? So for this look, for this A you have two choice. For this B you have two choice. For this C you have two choice. Two times two times two, eight, okay? So each one we have uh, two choice. So if there are n, right? If we look, if we want to have have, have this k. So it's actually 2 to the power of k, okay? Because, yeah, we want to find the subsequent, subsequent with k hat facing up, right? So 2 to the power of k. But we use the top-down dynamic programming with the cache. So with the cache, I remember the values. So I don't, call, I don't calculate it over and over again, right? Because I remember it. I ask the computer to remember it with the cache, right? The computer will, will remember once it, it knows this value, D, D, P, uh, D, F, S, I, K. Okay? Makes sense. The bottom-up dynamic programming, yeah, in other way, we, we remember the values in, in a two-dimensional array, right? In an array, and then we store the values once we have it, right? And we calculate the base cases from D, 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 F, S, what? D, F, S, zero, then the base cases, and then we use the values to Calculate the the i and k, yeah, D, DFS i and k with the larger value, right? Makes sense. It's like Fibonacci number, yeah, Fibonacci number n. So what up? F zero is one. F one is one. F two what is what? F one plus F zero, yeah. 
S3 is S2 plus S1. So, so we store these values in an array, right? And then we iteratively, right? Because to calculate Fn, we need the Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2, right? Yeah? So we store these values in the array. And then we use this array to iteratively update. Yeah? So in this case, this will be if i to n, right? Uh, how about if we, yeah, let, let's just transpose this metric, okay? So this is i to n, what i, this i, 1 to n, and this is k, right? So we calculate the first row, yeah? We calculate the first row, and then we, when we calculate the second row, we use the value for the, the previous row. When we calculate the third row, we use the value from the second row, right? You see? So we remember the values, yeah? Okay, so let, let, let's uh, convert this to bottom up dynamic programming, okay? You alright? Yeah. And first of all, if they okay, so if the look if we have k co if we have n coins and then if we k is bigger than n, is it possible? No. Now we should return what? Uh, minus one. Zero. The probability is zero. Okay. So the the define let's say coins okay, and we have this probability p and the k, right? So first of all, n equals length p, the number of coins. If, if what? k is bigger than n, return? Eric? Zero. Yeah. Yeah, I have two coins. I want the three heads. Not possible, right? Make sense? Yeah, and I have the dp for value. Let's call it f, okay? Remember, previously, f, f, i, k, right? Yeah, f, i, k, we have k. Uh, balance, right? So now let's call it S. This is the two-dimensional array. So let's initialize with zero. Well, underscore in range. So the K, so that, that will be the K. It will be K plus one up to K. And then for the, look at this table, yeah? This table, this table. This is I, yeah, the coin. I, yeah, up to n, yeah. We are we are trying to fill in the table, okay? Table here. This is What's n. Table. 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 He said table. Okay, okay, okay. And this is the what? This is the i, and this is the top. This is the k. K is the from zero, yeah. The number of coins facing up, right? Up to up to up to k, okay? Okay. We are, f we are trying to fill in the value here, yeah, and the result will be at f, p, k. Uh, okay, f, n, k, sorry, f, n, minus k, right? f, n, minus 1, so f, n, minus 1, k. So the result, okay? So this is the return value. We want to calculate this value here, right? Okay? We, we're trying to fill in the value, so here. We're going down, one, we calculate the row, one row by row. And when we have this value, this is the result. This is the result, f, f, n minus one, k, okay? This is the value, bottom up. Okay, top down, remember the cache. The cache, we ask computer to calculate this value. And the computer work out, okay, it, it needs to find out this value, for example, yeah? Okay, this value we need to find out this value for example. And it's you know this is top down. Top down, right? Yeah, top down. And then now bottom up. I calculate low by low, this is bottom up. Makes sense? Yeah, just different ways of doing it. Right? So when the computer work out this value, we can we put a cache, it remembers it. Now we remember here. We remember here, yeah? So for i in range. Look. The first one, this is the column, this is the row, yeah? this is the row. And how many rows are there? Are there? From, uh, from 0 to n minus 1. N minus 1. And n rows, okay, n rows, okay? Okay, okay, so look, f, we need to initialize the value, yeah? So for this one, the first coin, the first coin, if it's 0, and then these two values, what should we initialize it? What's the, what should we initialize it? Look, the first coin are facing down, 
the first coin of facing down is what? The first coin of facing up is P, right? P E G L, right? Yeah? The first coin of facing down is what? The P0 is the first point, probability. The probability of facing up is P0. What's the probability of facing down? Come on. P0, 1 minus. 1 minus P0. Yeah? yeah? Okay? 20% facing up. What's the probability of facing down? 80%. Easy. That's easy math. Well done. Yeah, 100% is 1. Okay? That's two representation. Okay? And then now we just try to. For to follow I in range, we start from the first row. Actually, we don't need to pick. We, we, we don't need to calculate this value. Yeah. Why is that? Because the first coin. If I'm I'm throwing the first coin, the K. These are all zero. Okay. These are all zero. What? Can you explain to me why this is zero? Because because zero times is no, 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 no. Why is this zero? I'm throwing the first coin, and why I can't get the F02, F03, F05? Come on, that's easy. This is the number, this is the coin. How many coins I throw? Zero, I th and if you can't get anything for zero, you just get nothing. Quite close. Zero is the first coin. I throw the first coin. What's the, how many outcomes do we have? We have one. How many outcomes? Zero. I saw the coin zero. How many outcomes? Two. Two. What's what are those? Heads and tails. Heads here. Tails here. Mm -hmm. This is two. I saw the coin. It's not impossible for to, to get two heads. Only head one head. Okay. I saw two coins. Okay. So this is. I saw two coins. Zero heads. One head. Two heads. Got it. So this is always like that. Yeah. We all. This bit. This bit. It's always zero. When I throw the coin, n coins, and I get k, k needs to be smaller than equal than n, right? Yeah? If it's bigger than n, we turn zero here. Right? Got it? Yeah? That's what I say here. This bit, the upper triangle, is this bit. I have a ton coins, but I want to get a hundred heads. What's the probability? Zero percent. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Make sense. Yeah. Now one n, and then I need to do four j in range. Yeah. Range. Yeah. I can. I can get it to i. Look, i con. I can get it to i, or I can get it. I. I think I can get it to i. I plus one. I to i plus one. Yeah. I plus one. Yeah. Uh, then I can say, um, if if you wish, right? Because I have sold the n coins, I have sold the n coins, and then this is the number of targets we want to, yeah, we we, we, we want to have a number of heads. This is the number of heads, heads, okay. And then I can say f i j, yeah, f i j, f i j. Look, there are two possibilities, yeah. One one is the the previous one is facing up. So previous one is P I well P I times F I minus one times J minus one. Yeah. So this we want this coin to face up. So we have this probability. And then yeah, and then the previous one will be J minus one, right? Because we already have one, right? Plus 1 minus pi, this is the current cone facing down, and then I can say f times fi minus 1, j, right? Because the balance hasn't changed, right? The balance hasn't changed. And then look, return, look, return this here, yeah. Return here, return, return this bit, f, m minus 1, k, right? f minus 1, k. Yeah. So look, if J is more than I, what will happen? If J is more than I, hmm? if J if J is more than I, so it's in the up corner, then I will return zero. Okay. And if if I set it to target one, uh, that, that will be target is K, K plus one here. Does this still work? Does this still work? If J is more than I, 
yeah. J more than I. Okay, so it still work. Okay, let's put it this way. Maybe more man, man, uh, clear. Okay, but you have to remember that the first upper corner is still always zero because there's no way, right? If we have thrown the ice coin, we have thrown the ice coin, and we want to get the J hat. Yeah, this is what I mean. If I want to throw, I have thrown the I coins, and I've got the J J hat. It's the probability of current ice coin facing up, this is the probability. Facing down, probability. If I facing up, it means I choose this hat, choose this coin and facing up. So I have J minus 1 hats remaining. Right? Yeah? Look, I minus 1. What's I minus? Look, I'm here. I'm here. What's I, I, what's I minus 1 here? I minus 1. I'm calculating this row. What's I, what's the... What's the previous row? I minus one row here, right? Yeah? And look, because and you know this value is based on previous row, right? So I start from the first row and I use look I start from filling the first row and then I use the first row to calculate the second row. I use the second row to calculate the third row. I kill the third row to calculate the yeah? Yeah? Look, F I is based on F I minus one. Right? Right? Alright? The horizontal. This is the number of what? What's k here? What's k here? K is the. Okay, can you explain to me? Last question. What's f i j? Come on. F i j is like like this is i. Mm -hmm. What's i j? What does it mean here? This is i. So you got i coin. Yeah. I'm... And and j is the um, like the number of heads. Oh, uh how -huh, is that? Yeah, number of heads. Yeah. Okay, one English question. English question. Yeah. When you say something, amount, what's the difference? The number and the amount. The number of coins and the amount of coins. Which one is correct? I don't know. You don't know? I saw the number is that you can count, but the amount is something you don't count, like water. You don't count the amount of water, the number of coins. Yeah? Yeah, but we're not talking about water. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that you said amount of uh, coins. Is that the right way of saying it? I, I don't know, yeah. Okay. Okay, what's the time complexity if you look at this question? This, this is easy. O n squared. Like. O n. Oh, 2 n. O n and, uh, yeah, O n squared, yes. Because look at this n, and if this is up to k, this O n k, right? But if this I change this to k, k is smaller than equal than n, so it's all n square. The upper bound, okay? The upper bound. Make sense? Mm. If k is bigger than n, we return zero here. Right? What's the space complexity? Oh, one. Why do you always say oh, one? What's the space complexity? I'm pointing to this. What's o minus k uh, plus. O minus k plus one. Uh, N. N. K. K. O N times K plus one. Okay, we drop the constant, remember, we don't care about constant when we talk about. O N times K. Where that O N times K. Okay, that's it for today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.